Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to What Shall We Do Next and today I thought we would embark on an adventure back to the 1990s, many hundreds of years ago. That's when the dinosaurs were around and it was also the decade that I was born and probably some of you were too. But I just thought this video would be fun and kind of easy and uh, I'm really not in the mood to make like a big video today that takes research and editing So um, because I've had a really busy day again and I just come home not so long ago and I had like an hour to get a video ready and I just laid there and I started listening to Russian Girl ASMR again and it was just a bad thing and that's why I have pink eye in this eye because I was like kind of drifting off and then I was like nope gotta get up and do this video you see I've really been putting a lot of effort into YouTube this last couple of years no matter how tired I am, I just keep on going. But I feel like I am actually getting old. Like, I don't remember ever being as tired as I am, like, of an evening anymore. But, like, now it just seems to happen. I'm just, like, always getting tired. This must be me getting old. But anyway, enough about me. We're going to take a look at something, a toy that I've had since the 1990s. Well, it's not actually the one, that, the same one. Um, I did have this as a child. But then I lost it, I guess. Like, you know how you just lose things when you're a kid and or you just get rid of them but then i got it a few years back i think 2016 um and i managed to get one online which was exactly the same as the one i had when i was a kid because you can get like different colored ones and stuff like that and it is a jibba jabber and i'm not sure if you guys will that's where i get the thing from you know when i say but enough of the jibba jabber that's where i get it from because of this thing right here and yeah it's basically in case you millennials, or, well, I'm a millennial, uh, you Gen Zers don't understand what this is. It's uh, a toy that they made in the, the 1990s, and what you do, you can probably tell he's got a very long neck, and that's so you can wrap your hand around it and give him a good old... <laughs> die, 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 bitch! Die, motherfucker! I think I actually let out something there. But yeah, um, it soon got recalled for that exact problem. They were saying it got banned, it got taken off the shelves because they were saying that that was encouraging and enabling and teaching children to choke other kids and they will make a funny noise. <laughs> So it got banned, um, but luckily I was able to get the one that I had when I was a kid uh, Which had blue hair like this and green ears and a yellow nose You can get like different ones with like a red nose yellow ears and green hair and stuff like that But this was the exact one that I had when I was a kid and the little bow too is is also blue and Oh my god, this is like the most 1990s thing I've ever seen look at that retro style fucking costume he's wearing what in the holy hell wow this really does actually like just looking at this reminds me of the 90s it's like saved by the bell like um it was, well that was kind of was that 80s or night i think that was the 80s but it's like that kind of style like the weird like colors and the zigzags oh man take me back <gasps> but he's got like these little stuffed feet there's not much to say about those again the arms are very flaily and flimsy but the hands are like a hard rubber um like a hard plastic but like a rubbery you can like bend the fingers and stuff um he only has three fingers just like the cannibal in wrong turn and uh his body is like stuffed with again just like wool like cotton and the bottom has like a hard base, so you can actually sit them on a table or something like that. I don't know whether it was meant to be for children or if it was like for people. Because I remember in the commercial, it used to show like an adult guy with it on his table. And like when he got frustrated at work, he would just like <laughs> choke it. Um, the ears and the back of the head has this like little thing, this little hole with a little plug in it. And um, it has like four holes, kind of looks like a button. The ear, this one's completely blocked off. And this one is the same as the hole on the back. Now that's so you can like make the sound. I actually don't know what's inside the head that makes that sound, but he's got the little blue hair, black beady little eyes. And wow, that's the scariest thing I've ever seen. I've just realized how scary this thing is. Maybe it's haunted. Is this my new haunted doll? Wow. But yeah, it's, it is kind of a strange looking character. 
Um, <laughs> but yeah, I've ha I had this when I was a kid, and I remember a few years ago, like 2016, I remember thinking about it, and I was like, man, I remember that, like a jibba jabber. Um, or a jibba jabba. I just I was went online and I found one. I can't remember how much I got it for. Uh, they're not really. You can still get them, but they're not like that expensive, unless it's like new in the box. Then it's literally like a vintage thing. So I mean, this is classed as vintage, but it's just not in its its original box. So when it's in its original packaging, it's of course it's going to be worth a lot. Um, but this one was, it wasn't too bad. I think it was probably like 20 bucks, which I know sounds ridiculous for what it is, but for a vintage toy, um, it's crazy. It's crazy to think that these things got banned. But yeah, that's pretty much all it does is it, you just like squeeze its neck and it makes a funny sound when you choke it. Wow, it really does release a lot of anger. I feel better about my life now. <laughs> it releases a lot of stress, a lot of tension. Maybe this was like the 1990s fidget spinner <laughs> for kids who can't like, can't concentrate or like they're feeling aggression building up. So they need to like have something to fidget with. So they could just shake the Die, die you motherfucker. Die, you burn in hell. Ah! And it's like a workout too. I think I just broke my arm or like torn a muscle. Ow. Oh, that was the most workout I've done this year. But yeah, I just wanted to do like a quick review. Does it say anything on the tag? There is a little tag right here. Maybe this will bring back memories. All new material, polyester fiber, surface wash, surface wash only, and then a registration number. So yeah, this is a uh, 1990s, I don't remember the exact year, I think it was like 1990, maybe four or five, because I definitely had one when I was a young kid. Um, and I remember I had it for years, like it was one of those things that I always kept in a storage toy box, um, but I never ever bothered with it. And then as I got older, I kind of just like remembered it out of the blue. So I thought I would get one and uh, I've never actually showed you guys, but this is a little trip down memory lane. It is a 1990s jibba jabber. But that is all for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comment section what was your favorite toy you had when you were a kid. Let me know. Smash a like on the video, and I'll see you right back here in the next one. Peace out and chase your dreams. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoy my videos and you would like to support me and my channel more and also be featured in my videos, go check out my Patreon. Link is in the description. I would really appreciate any help you guys have to offer. As you can see, we have different tiers, different rewards. So go over there, check it out. And uh, I would really appreciate that. Every little helps. Thank you so much. And also guys, don't forget to subscribe with the notification bell on and also follow me on all my social media. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Snapchat. So go follow Follow me on all of those and remember the most important thing, I love you guys and chase your dreams.